This wedding was an assignment for my Religion two class in Catholic school. This one's wife, Milking, Canada. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. As you are aware, this one's wife recently attended the one year to go to the This One's Wife in Griftus Games. She was seen gurning on ski slopes, wearing a selection of clothing to merch it, and making it all about her, whilst the veterans were largely relegated to the sidelines. Naturally, this one's wife milked the trip for all it was worth while she was there, ensuring that she stared down the lenses of various cameras, that she was seen at the front of everybody, that she was known to have gone for a curry, that she wanted a bit more spice in the curry, that she went out for a romantic meal with Harry, that she attended that meal also with Michael Bublé, that they went to a dinner where they were serenaded by Michael Bublé, and that people talked about how wonderful and saint-like she is. Even though the trip has now ended, and they've gone back to the 47,000 flushing toileted mansion at Monte Shitcho, it remains the case that this one's wife, with nothing else really to do, has to ensure that the trip is milked further. And it came down to a choice as to whether Hello would be doing that, or People.com would. And it would appear that People.com has taken up the mantle of ensuring that Canada is milked even further. Janine Henney and Erin Hill provide us with This one's wife and Prince Harry share unseen photo from Canada visit. Wow. Yes, just to ensure that the maximum return is obtained with regard to controlling people, drawing fuel, and managing that facade, we have an unseen photo. But of course, unless it's her in a compromising position, any photo of this one's wife doesn't remain unseen for long, as she needs to ensure that it's out there in the world so that people can react to it. It then follows, as part of this milking, the usual arse lickery that comes to be associated with people. This one's wife and Prince Harry are opening up about their meaningful visit to Canada. It was only meaningful to the extent that it enabled this one's wife to milk the trip to make her look good, to expense the trip through Invictus, and enable her to dine out, fly around and be seen at the expense of veterans. We loved being back in Canada, a place so meaningful to both of us. It was an honour to be welcomed by the four host First Nations as we marked one year to go, together with Invictus coaches, who we largely ignored, competitors, who we ensured that the limelight was removed from, and families who we couldn't give a rat's ass about. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex exclusively told people following the three-day in Griftus Games Vancouver Whistler This One's Wife's Tour 2025 One Year to Go celebration. It filled our hearts, as well as our wallets, to once again be surrounded by Canadian people, food and culture. We felt the Invictus spirit, and Harry certainly slogged several of those down his throat, when he went out for a Ruby Murray, and there was excitement throughout Whistler and Vancouver, clearly as a consequence of my appearance, as I am this one's wife. And we are so grateful to all our hosts for organising such a memorable visit and for Engrifters for paying for it. We're counting down the days until we return for another 3B. Harry, 39, and this one's wife, <coughs> 42, also shared an exclusive new photo from the one-year-to-go dinner, aren't we fucking lucky, at the Vancouver Convention Centre on Friday. The snap shows the couple smiling in their seats at the evening gala, where Prince Harry sported a dark suit, or rather he wore it, and this one's wife wore an olive green gown by Canadian label Greta Constantine, and of course ensured that her linebacker shoulders were on display once again. They need to share the photo, of course, to maintain that they are talked about. The one-year-to-go dinner was the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's final appearance last week, 
for the 2025 Ingriftus Games Countdown festivities. The Glam Banquet was attended by representatives of the government and four host First Nations, plus members of the Invictus Games Foundation and sponsors. But balls to the actual veterans who ought to be first and foremost the focus of this event. Michael Buble, wife abuser, and Luciana Lapilato, who this one's wife and Harry had a double date with on Thursday night, were also in attendance. And the Canadian crooner took to the stage to perform a vomit-inducing song. Before he started singing, Buble told the audience how happy he was that we can show Harry and this one's wife how beautiful this place is. The lyrics, which Buble wrote with Paul Anker to the melody of My Way, honoured Prince Harry as a visionary, which caused much mirth around the world, and sent healing wishes to King Charles, who is undergoing treatment after Buckingham Palace announced on February the 5th that he was diagnosed with cancer. At the start of the party, this one's wife and Prince Harry received a gift of blankets woven by the Salish people for their children, Prince Archie IV and Princess Lilibet II, from Joanna Sparrow, an indigenous advisor for the Invictus Games and sister of Chief Wayne Sparrow of the Musqueam Indian Band. This one's wife left the blankets behind saying, we don't fucking need those, and I don't think I could even sell them for anything. Prince Harry also took the stage for a short speech where he thanked the audience for being here tonight. Well done. Brilliant. Inspirational. So brave. So stunning. And for your commitment to making Invictus Games Vancouver Whistler 2025 possible. My wife and I are delighted that you've put so much money in it that we're able to expense it. The Duke of Sussex also touched on how the Ingriftus Games will mark its 10th anniversary in 2024. The past decade has been a testament to the power of resilience and the unbreakable spirit you all exemplify. And boy, have we had fun on the way, he said of the milestone. From this trip, I am happy to report the air is thick with excrement. Oh, I beg your pardon, excitement. And the best part is, we're just getting started with our expense claims. Prince Harry and this one's wife had a busy itinerary in Canada from February the 14th to February 16th at the winter training camp, which introduced teams from around the world to their new winter sports that will be introduced at the Invictus Games next year. In addition to the previous sports offered, the 2025 event will include alpine skiing, snowboarding, biathlon, Nordic skiing, skeleton and wheelchair curling for the first time. And the Duke of Sussex even tried some for himself. What's interesting is that in this article, it took until the 12th or so paragraph before the actual events that are being uh, run got an actual mention. Hitherto, it's all about, of course, what this one's wife has been up to. It then tells us about Prince Harry taking a turn at skiing, etc., and that he did the wheelchair curling and so forth. See, parts pass him, why she never gets involved. Prince Harry, a retired captain of the British Army, was in his element throughout the countdown to the Adaptive Sports Tournament for Service Personnel and Veterans he founded in 2014 and spent plenty of one-on-one -on -one time with competitors and alumni, although you wouldn't think it, given the reportage was all about his wife going out for a magical date with Michael Bublé and his wife, and his wife staring down the camera lens on the ski slope, and his wife pushing cameramen out of the way so that she could be seen, and his wife sporting various different colours of puffer jackets as part of her merchandising. The event only took place last week, but already People.com have been tasked with releasing a further puff piece to remind us of the things that only happened just last week. They clearly think that most people have the memory of a goldfish, and that because the Sussexes are so important, we need to hear again precisely what they did less than a week ago, and if you throw an exclusive unseen photo into the mix, that'll keep everybody happy. It just shows that this pair of dimwits treats everybody else like dimwits, and once again, this one's wife is so thirsty for the fuel that comes with fame. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.